Whatever the Russians wanted to call their efforts, it soon became clear that the Tu-144 was not just a simple copy of Concorde. Its wings were a modification of the Delta shape. It had different landing gear, and its fuselage was longer and wider. It had the same number of engines, four, and a tipping nose. But there was one distinctive feature, whisker-like front winglets. The Konkordsky had these little winglets that came out for takeoff and landing. Those winglets modified the airflow over the wing in such a way that you could come in at a lower angle of attack, which meant less engine power required and therefore less noise. So it was a very, very good feature, that of the Konkordsky design. And I think, as I say, if there'd ever been a second generation Concorde built, uh, they would have incorporated winglets into it.